Assalamu alaikum. Uh, in order to understand PCOS, we need to understand how a menstrual cycle takes place. Uh, there are different organs which are involved in the uh, bringing of normal menses. Number one is the kidneys. Kidneys, when we say kidneys, it does not necessarily mean anatomical kidney. It means the function of the kidney, holistically speaking. So kidney is the first organ which is responsible to bring menstruation. Uh, so an ovulation that is lack of ovulation which commonly occurs in PCOS is basically coming from the kidney. That means we need to treat the kidney system to bring on the ovulation. So that means if someone has PCOS, the first part of the treatment has to be tonifying or correcting the kidney system. The second one is a spleen. Spleen, it, spleen has a role in development of obesity and insulin resistance. And this is again a part of the uh, PCOS plan to help patient recover from the obesity and insulin resistance. Though there, I would say from experience, uh, diet and home remedies have to do more rather than the treatment itself. Because obesity is something which we carry on because of the dietary errors. So now we need to correct the diet and use the home remedies which are indicated according to the patient's condition to get rid of this obesity and insulin resistance. The third component of the treatment would be liver. Uh, liver stagnation that is the flow of energy is stuck in the liver and this gives blood stasis meaning the blood cannot flow smoothly. Now this blood stasis nourishes the hair follicles excessively giving unwanted hair and sometimes it brings on heat which gives acne on the surface of the skin. Now, we need to understand there are four phases of a menses. Number one, phase one, is that when menses start, uh, in this part of the plan, we need to move the blood so that the proper blood can come out of the uterus during menses. And if the flow is very heavy, then of course we need to tonify blood so that excessive bleeding can, can be stopped. And second phase is that when your body is getting ready I mean it's making the follicles mature that is known as follicular phase in this phase we need to nourish blood and tonify kidneys so that follicles can get matured properly moving on there is third phase that is ovulatory phase when your body is ovulating when the egg is being released to conceive here the treatment principle would be tonify kidneys because that has main to do with your reproductive system strengthen the vessels resolve dampness Tonify spleen. Dampness in holistic medicine means there could be a lot of fluid in the body. We need to remove that fluid. We need to cleanse the body and we need to tonify the spleen uh, so that the whole function can take place in a harmonized manner and the chances of conception can be increased. Now, the fourth phase is premenstrual phase where your body starts to get ready for the menses. Here we see a lot of symptoms of PMS from getting irritated. And sometimes even manic behavior I observed in my practice, meaning destroying things, yelling at people. So in this phase, basically what happens, energy is stuck. It is not flowing uh, smoothly among different organs. So my treatment strategy would be move the energy so that these type of symptoms do not occur. And invigorate blood, I mean get it ready for the menses. Warm the uterus because if uterus is cold, there is lack of circulation to the uterus, menses is not going to take place. Expel gold and again resolve dampness because if, st if still there's fluid, it will cause a problem in bringing on the menses. So that's my that's the treatment plan. How uh, we should treat a patient during these four phases to uh, restore the menses cycle. And this is about basically holistically diagnosing a patient. It's not about giving standard protocol. It's about holistically diagnosing the patient and then making a customized treatment based on the natural remedies, natural medicines and home remedies. Okay, this is Dr. Zishan. I've been doing online practice for a number of years now, especially in UK through online consultation. Uh, in Pakistan, you can meet me face to face. I would say you can avail my consultation in whatever part of the world you are, as long as you can have access to my remedies. UK is quite easy for me to get those medicine, natural medicines delivered and we purchase it from uh, Europe and get it delivered to UK patients and in Pakistan patients can see me face to face. So uh, in order to know about me, about my practice, please visit my website which is therapidcure.com and here's my WhatsApp. You can drop your text about your inquiry. I'll get you back as soon as possible. 
and I offer a 10 minutes free pre-consultation session. I mean, 10, I, I can give you 10 minutes where you can inquire about your condition and I can let you know what is the possibility to, to, to treat your condition. I hope this was useful. Please do share with others. I hope to see you on the other side. Thank you.